the price of the fight against Daesh. Mosul, one of the world's oldest cities, is now rubble. Candidates for Iraq's parliament are campaigning here, promising that help will come. Two and a half million of the city's people are living in refugee camps. They say the central government in Baghdad is going ahead with elections while they're still homeless. The pending election has no benefit to us whatsoever. All these people have homes in their villages. None of the candidates visited us to talk about going back to our places. The government says it is reaching out to international donors and trying to raise nearly $90 billion. And aid groups have pledged hundreds of millions. But people here have doubts that money will find its way to Mosul and to them. We just hear about donations. What are they used for? People here are living in makeshift tents. They can't find food or drinks. And you're asking them to vote or care for elections. Others believe voting in the election is their only chance to try and improve their quality of life. This is my damaged house. So far we've received nothing. I have hoped that the elected government will help us rebuild our devastated neighborhoods. The government says it will hold parliamentary elections on May the 12th. It says 40 out of 140 election centers are ready for voters in Ninawa province. The challenge remains getting those in the camps to the polls. Actually, we haven't been informed with the mechanism we will follow to save the refugees a chance to cast their vote. But according to our preliminary information, they are solid and reliable. Many people are wondering how Iraq's government will spend the donations to rebuild their country. And most of these people here can only hope it will change their lives. Ahmed Al-Burai, TRT World.